And so the fact that I was attacked by the scientific thinking people, I was attacked by the traditional religious people, you know, they don't particularly like mystics either. Right. Um, and I didn't like being attacked. So I, I became quite a problem rebellious child. And that really, um, I learned to fight everything. And it was not there, it got very un, uh, it wasn't pretty. Mm. Um, until the age of 17, um, I ran into my first great teacher. And a great teacher to me is someone who completely changes the course of your life. And uh, this woman uh, was 75 years old, white hair, fiery eyes. Her name was Mary Nevin. And she taught in a private Catholic high school that I did not attend, but one of my friends that did attend it drugged me to meet her. And I remember knocking on the door. We had to be there at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning. So at 8 o'clock in the morning, I was knocking on her door. And this woman opened the door with fire in her eyes. And she said, welcome. No one comes here by chance. We're guided by the unconscious because the unconscious knows. (laughs) I was toast (laughs) that moment. And she introduced this really rebellious, you know, gotten into drugs already quite heavily, totally flunking out of school, bored to death with school. She introduced this troubled 17-year-old to the works of Carl Jung, Maria Kiliade, Joseph Campbell, D.T. Suzuki, Krishnamurti, to name but a few. And it radically changed the direction of my life. For the first time, I found people that think like I do. Yes. 